Alright guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, we're going to be talking about this camera right here, the Sony A1. And I've literally just had this camera just for a handful of days, but I couldn't wait to shoot a video to tell you guys about my first impressions with this camera. So this will not be a detailed review. Don't worry about that. There's going to be a number of other videos coming out or coming to your way about this camera, including comparing it to my R5. Now instead, in today's video, we're going to discuss the A1 specs and features, and we're going to go over what I like so far. I'm going to talk about a couple things that I don't care about as well. Think of this as a as a first date video with the A1. Now also, I do wanna say, I had this camera for about a few weeks here. The folks over at Adorama let me get my hands on this so I can do a review on this, one that I've been wanting to do for a little while. Before we get into the nitty gritty of today's video, let's check out one of my favorite YouTube features, the like button. Now, I noticed that like button is gray at the moment, which means you haven't liked this video. Now, I'm not asking you to like the video right now, but I really would appreciate if you like the video once we're done talking about the A1. See, the like button would also love that interaction with you as well. When you give him a click, he turns beautiful shade of blue, and that tells us that he's having a great day. So do me and the like button a solid and consider tapping on the like button before you leave. That said, my friend, pull up a seat and let's go. I want to start off by refreshing everybody's memory about some of the basic specs of the Sony A1. You have a 50.1 megapixel stacked full frame back illuminated Exmor RS sensor, dual Bionzi XR processor, up to 30 frames per second continuous shooting with the electronic shutter, and up to 10 frames per second with the mechanical shutter. It does have a 5 axis sensor shift IBIS. ISO range goes from 100 to 32,000, and that's expandable up to 50 to 100, 2,400. Now there are 759 phase detect uh, autofocus points along with the 425 contrast detection autofocus points. You have 10-bit UHD 8K recording and that's up to 30p. You have 10-bit UHD 4K recording up to 120p, 9.4 excuse me, 9.4 million dot EVF. You have a three inch tilting touchscreen LCD in the back here. Now that is with 1.44 million dots of resolution. And of course on the side here, you do have, let's crack this open. You have dual memory card slots, both of which are CF Express type A and SD. Now this takes the FZ, let me crack this sucker open. You have the FZ100, which is rated for about 530 shots. Now on top of that, you have built-in Wi-Fi and other connectivity includes ports. Let's crack them open here. Uh, for 3.2, USB 3.2, HDMI, microphone, and headphone. Now the dimensions are 5.07 by 3.81 by 2.74 inches in size. Now the camera weighs about 1.6 pounds for the body only. And this is a weathered seal body. And price tag is $64.98 retail for the body. So obviously Sony has brought a lot to the party with the A1. The question is, how do all these specs and features really compare in the real world? First things first. Now the A1 is virtually, let's get the R5 in here. So A1, R5. And as you can see, they're both virtually about the same size. So from the standpoint of dimensions and weight, so I'm very happy with what the A1 brings to the table. Now I will say this, the grip on the R5, I do enjoy a little bit more, but that might be because I'm kind of used to it. Now time's gonna tell if the A1 grips end up being a positive or a negative. And as you can see here, if you have big hands, so this is the thing that, why I'm on the fence. From an ergonomic standpoint, I've never really cared for Sony's and how they felt. This camera is totally different. Put, take off the lens, this body feels really, really good. But my hang up, as you can see, my finger is hitting the lens. So it's not so much a body you know, issue here. It's more just, it's hitting the, the, the lens there. Now, second, Sony has always been a master of dynamic range. The A1 definitely demonstrates that. Now I've only been able to take a handful of images with this camera so far, but what I'm seeing in terms of dynamic range, guys, it's very, very impressive. I'm gonna be interested to see what I can do with the dynamic range and post-processing, but if history is any indication, the A1 will continue Sony's tradition of being a absolute dynamic range beast. Third, as a former Sony camera owner, I know that Sony cameras have had 
less than awesome color science in the past. From what I can tell from the handful of shots that I fired off so far with this camera, that's not the case with the A1. You might recall one of the reasons why I switched from being a Nikon and Sony shooter to being an exclusive Canon shooter is because Canon's color science. Historically, it has been a better option. But I do have to say, looking at the test shots I've taken with the A1, Sony has really made some drastic improvements with the color science department in their photos and videos. Not to state the obvious, but another thing that really jumps out about this camera is the image quality. And of course, with a 50 50 megapixel Sony sensor, you can expect beautiful images but so far I've been just surprised at how good the image quality is and again I'm gonna be doing much more thorough testing but at this point the image quality looks to be really spot-on and for all of you that are worrying about whether this camera can handle itself in low-light situations my friend quit worrying now I've taken a few low-light test shots and I get clean results with very little noise when pushing the ISO up to 5000 and beyond in a few cases now usually High resolution sensors really don't give you this kind of low light quality. So kudos for Sony for bringing up or bridging that gap. Now regarding my first impressions of the A1's video capabilities, so far very good. With this camera's ability to shoot 20, 30 minutes of 8K video and unlimited 4K video, I think this camera is going to be an excellent option for photographers that need a high quality video camera as well. And again, I've only taken a handful of short videos with this, but the color science, the dynamic range, and the ability to record externally have been very, very impressive thus far. Now, another positive about this camera is the autofocus. Now, I'm pretty partial to the R5's autofocus system, but the A1 has certainly impressed me so far. Now, having 759 autofocus points allows the camera to focus lightning fast. And since Sony has done a great job developing subject tracking technology. This camera, guys, it allows you to easily track the subject, whether it's a bird, wildlife, a person, cars, planes, and so forth. Now, another thing, Sony has really improved the menu system on these cameras tremendously. And as you may know, I've never been a fan of the menu system in various Sony cameras that I've had over the years, but I'm pleased that the A1's menu system seems to be very well thought out. So for example, the My Menu pages of the menu are shown first. This means that once you've decided what menus to put in My Menu, Guys, you don't have to dive through all the other menus as often. Now, I do have some concerns about the A1. First, let's address the elephant in the room, the eye-popping price. At $64.98, this is a serious investment in cash. The question is, is it worth the price? Now, you can get an EOS R5 for $38.99, and that's a difference of about $25.99. Now, guys, let's be real here. These aren't the same cameras, but they are comparable enough on paper to make you question why the A1 is that much more. Now, another concern I have is that Sony put the same old 1.44 million dot LCD into the A1. Why not upgrade it into something better or put something better into it? We're going to see how good or bad the screen is after more testing, but I was bummed that Sony didn't make an upgrade here. Now, I also heard that from other photographers, noting that the reduction of autofocus capabilities in low light situations. Now, I'm going to have to test out a little bit more to see what the deal is, but that's definitely a question moving forward. So to wrap this up, there's a lot to be impressed about the A1, and I'm extremely excited to work with this camera in the oncoming weeks. So stay tuned for more detailed videos that will answer some of the questions and concerns that I have about this camera. Now let's have a chat about our current giveaway. Here are the prizes that we have available. A Razer Core XE GPU, a pneumatic shoulder bag, a $100 Adorama gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you register on the site and introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But guy, as I keep saying, swing on by, say hello. We would love to see you. And that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck. All right, guys, there you go. This was a fun video to put together. When Sony came out with this camera, I was like, wow, this is a home run for Sony. This looks like an amazing piece of equipment. So again, Adoram, I really appreciate you allowing me to borrow this camera so I can do a review for these fine folks watching this video right now. And to the rest of you that are watching this right here, look, we put these videos together to help you make educated decisions on which gear you may want to go out there and invest in. 
That being the case, do me a favor. If this video was valuable, if you were mildly entertained with this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hey, while you're at it, you might as well hit that bell so therefore you're notified each time that we come out with a video. Well, my friend, I'm gonna be jumping out of here. You get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.